welcome to the first lesson of html language so in this lesson series we will learn everything about html html is a language that we know used to design web pages and the web pages collectively known as websites so if you want to develop a website or you want to make a career into website development designing then this should be your first but the most important step of learning website designing html as we know is a language the only language used to design web pages so it is very important and it should be the first step to design websites so we will talk about what we will be learning in html in this whole series uh, you can see uh, we have all the content we will discuss but before we discuss let me tell you you should not only learn html but you should master html language because it is one of the governing language that is used for the web page development for the website development obviously we will be no uh, we will be needing lots of technologies more technologies like css javascript document object model and server programming language to make it a complete dynamic website but to start we must know html so uh, in this journey of learning html i'll make it simple for you to understand how to design good web pages and one of the important term responsive web pages we'll see it what this means responsive so let's see what we are going to learn and what we are going to master uh, we need to master the html so what we are going to learn to master html language right so let's see uh, in the beginning we will be starting with the introduction to the html obviously we want to know the history the feature advantages and uses of the html language so what are the major features advantages and how and where we can use this html language so we will uh, learn this first then we will talk about what are the software requirements so if you want to make a web page using html language then what softwares are required it's not tricky it's pretty simple we need only two softwares we need one editor to write our source code and then we need a browser just to display our web page right so we will talk this how we can set up how we can do it we'll talk this later into the software requirements then we'll see what is the basic html document structure what is the basic html document structure and after uh, looking at the basic document structure we will talk about what are html elements what are html tags and what are the html attributes yes these are the three main things that we need to learn in html like we learn keywords tokens uh, character sets syntax all other things in other programming languages like c c++ and java in html we must know what are the html elements what are the tags what are the types of tags available how we can use those tags and what are the attributes especially what are the common attributes that we use with most of the tags so we will be learning about these uh, elements tags and attributes after that we will create our first html web page and we display the result onto the web browser so we'll see how we can create our first html web page then we'll jump to the basic html tags the most basic html tags are html head tag title tag meta tag body tag there are many other tags also but the most basic and common tags that we need to study that is html head title meta and body tag then we'll talk about html headings now we'll start uh, making our web page so we can see in web pages we have lots of headings uh, fonts paragraph lists tables images links etc so all upcoming tags will help us in designing web pages with these tags and tools so we will talk about html headings then html paragraph and then we'll learn html meta tag so you can see there is an asterisk yes because we need to learn html meta tag more deeply this is one step most of the website designer skip here 
but they should not be skipped because meta tag is a tag that will help our website to be recognized by the search engine yes uh, let's say if we develop a website and we hosted it but nobody knows it where is the website uh, what is all about the website so we need to give recognition to our website through search engines and now this meta tag will help us in giving recognition to our website so that search engines could recognize our website and bring it top into the search results so that is why meta tag headings and paragraphs these are important things then we'll talk about how we can comment an html document it's a simple thing and then we'll talk about html formatting right like we format our word document we uh, keep text bold italic different font sizes different uh, size of the text color of the text text uh, and lots of things so we learn how we can format uh, our html document with the help of bold italic stripe tag strong tag underline tag font tag and lots of tags are there so we'll discuss all these tags so that we can format our html document or web page to the best then uh, we'll talk about images right it's all about images today uh, we can see the web size will be attractive only if you have good images with them so we'll learn how we can add the images to our web pages and we'll uh, learn how we can add tables cells and columns to our web pages then we'll talk about lists how we can create the list in our web pages then we'll talk about linking yes web pages are all about hyperlinking linking one web page to the other web page or linking uh, some text on top of the page to the bottom of the page so this is all about linking so we need to learn linking we we'll learn both types of linking internal linking and external linking so then we will talk about the html forms this is the way how a web page will interact with the user obviously to interact we need some other language uh, to accept the actions from the user we need some uh, validation language and server language but just to design that interaction we need html forms so we will talk about html forms and after that we learn html framing so that we can have a good looking uh, web page where we can insert more than web, web one more than one web pages on a single window or a single frame so we will learn html frames this is another important concept of making a website and then we will talk about html responsive basically we will be talking about responsiveness from the beginning right what is a responsive website let's say we can see today we have lots of devices many people access a website through web browser on the pc through on their laptop through their mobile phones android phones and that to are of different sizes so responsiveness is a thing that uh, makes our web page look equally good and better in all the devices so we do not lose our quality display we do not lose any text we do not lose any content just with the help of this responsiveness this can be achieved with the help of the responsiveness so today the websites are to be responsive so we learn this skill of making our web pages responsive then we'll talk about handling multimedia the websites need to handle this multimedia content embedding of any other object like a pdf or any document then audio video different plugins into your own website then we'll talk about how we can add youtube videos in our websites then maps how we can use the maps in our websites and all the different type of media how we can insert it in our web page web page how we can use it then we will talk about html dome this is document object model now we'll move uh, towards a website a complete website development which requires not only html but more than that so in the sense of more than that we have this dome document object model then we will talk about css in our next series then we we'll learn xml we also learn javascript in a separate series and then we learn server side programming so that we can 
create a complete website obviously these things we'll study in separate series css javascript and server side programming but combine the all these html css javascript and server side programming will help you in creating a dynamic website so that's it for the today's lecture uh, from the next lesson we will start the our first topic that is introduction to the html hope to see you soon